Okay, for number six, it is a product of some formula that we have to use here. Uh, so you want to be sure you're familiar with all the versions of that formula. The one in particular that we're going to look at is the one that has cosine sine. So we want to look at uh, cosine x sine y and this formula is one half sine of x plus y and then minus sine of x minus y. So this is uh, the formula that we want to use for this specific problem. Uh, so we want to be familiar with it. Um, we're just matching the original form that we have here. And the first one for the cosine, that's going to be your x value, and the one with the sine has to be the y value. So we're going to just put that into the formula. Uh, so you'll have all this is going to be equal to 1 half, and then inside here we have sine of 5 pi over 24 uh, plus pi over 24, and then minus sine with 5 pi over 24 minus pi over 24. Okay, and we have the bracket on the end here. So we first start by plugging in the x and the y from the original one. We plug that in here, and then we're going to simplify it. Uh, so inside here, we've got sine of 5 pi plus pi, that's 6 pi over 24. Uh, and then we have minus sines, this is still inside the brackets. Uh, 5 minus pi, uh, you'll get 4 pi over 24. And then we can reduce each one of these. So we got 1 half, uh, this will be sine of pi over 4, and then minus sine of pi over 6. Once you get down to this point, you don't want to leave your answer in this form. It says find the exact value, which means you need to put values in from the unit circle. Oftentimes students, for some reason, will go down to here and stop. You want to keep going. You want to put in the values for uh, each of these from the unit circle. When you do that, you get 1 half and this is going to be sine of pi over 4, the whole thing gets replaced with square root of 2 over 2 is the value from the unit circle. This next one is you have pi over 6 and that's going to be 1 half is the value. If we put these together you can get 1 half inside the brackets, you can combine these together as a single fraction like that, and then you can multiply across the top, across the bottom to get square root of 2 minus 1, all that over 4. And this is as far as you need to take it, you don't need to split that up into separate fractions. Just leave it just like that, that would be considered the exact value of this expression.